after some time you will see that the system gets an equilibrium but the only only concern over here is uh, to what extent it will continue means to what extent extent the diffusion will continue so then there is a uh, con uh, comparison between non equilibrium and equilibrium or spontaneity because if you see that in nature there are many processes which are spontaneous are uh, taking place without any external aid or help so to introduce actually second law of thermodynamics we need to answer two questions that what extend the process will continue and in which direction so depending upon the process for a moment <coughs> so ma'am introduce about the the carnot cycle actually fine okay so i would like to continue with this uh, two questions to what extent energy can be converted and why we cannot have any machine which can give us 100% efficiency so in the in my discussion i would like to cover some of the points which i have already discussed i would like to start with carnot cycle then i would like to explain the efficiency of carnot cycle then we will see different statements made by clausius and kelvin on that and finally time permits i would like to go for the problems so the problem with the first law puts limits it gives limit that what is the useful conversion of heat into work so the major problem was that and secondly as i have discussed with you it has completely failed to explain the direction of a reaction whether the reaction will take place or not at first instant if yes then to what extent and how so actually the second law of thermodynamics provides us the information about these two main points it gives a direction and it also explain a state of equilibrium for example if you take a metallic rod and if you heat this metallic rod at one end you will see that uh, immediately there is a transfer of energy so before the equilibrium is reached there is a clear separation between the high energy molecules at one end where you put a burner and the low energy molecules at the other end but after some time you will see that there is an equilibrium means what the temperature becomes uniform of the metallic rod so first law has failed to explain this situation that why there is an inherent tendency of any system which goes from a state of non equilibrium to equilibrium and second thing it fails that how long it will continue so let's see actually uh, the efficiency and this failure of first law based on this one so the debate was what kind of maximum energy can be obtained if i have an engine sadi carnot actually a french young engineer way back in 1796 he proposed a cycle a cyclic process which comes back to the initial state and actually it explains you the efficiency that one can obtain the maximum is rather if you have an heat engine which operates between two temperatures but before i jump into this i need to introduce one small definition heat reservoir actually carnot considered two different kind of heat reservoir one at high temperature and one at low temperature the high temperature heat reservoir also known as heat bath and the low temperature is called sink how it is defined it is defined as a very large system of uniform temperature which doesn't change regardless of the amount of heat added or withdrawn it means what a amount of heat i withdraw from this reservoir the temperature remains constant before i go for this carnot cycle i want to clarify some of the 
conventions used for work and heat. The mathematical law or mathematical form rather the, of the first law is given as delta E, you may use delta U also, but delta E equals to Q plus W or you may say delta E equals to Q minus W. Uh, it's all a matter of what kind of convention you use for work and for heat. What I am going to consider in my discussion, I am going to consider that if a work done by system, for example, expansion of a gas, I am going to consider that as positive. If work done on system by surrounding, I am going to consider that as negative. If there is a gain of heat, means heat absorbed from hot reservoir, I consider a positive sign to it. And if heat is rejected during my process, I consider that as negative sign. So for me, the mathematical form of the first law of thermodynamic actually is this one, where I consider delta equals to Q minus W. This is a picture which actually gives an idea about how Sadi cannot constructed his hypothetical heat engine. You see there are four different components. Uh, something is wrong with this figure. Actually, this is a piston. It should be over here. So, a piston, this blue line actually, a little bit faded, indicates that the base of the piston is completely a conductive of heat. So, four components. A piston, which is actually frictionless, here it is written, having a base which gives you 100% conduction of heat. The walls I have given parallel lines indicates non-conduction of heat. This is the first block. The first block actually is hot reservoir having infinite capacity to provide heat, having temperature T1. In my Explanation, I have considered that T1 is greater than T2, a stand is there in between and a black boundary I have given for the stand. This is a complete or a perfect insulator, means when I put my system on the stand, no heat enters or leaves from my system. And finally, I am considering a sink or my second reservoir at low temperature T2. Sadiq was smart enough to consider an idle gas as a working substance. The reason behind is very simple because we know that the only idle gas follows PV equals to RT formula for the entire range of temperature and pressure considered. It means if I compress a gas or if I expand a gas, I am least bothered about the intermolecular attractions or deposition forces existing with the gas molecules means at no point of time during my process there is a phase transformation or any kind of energies exchange within the molecules. He considered four different steps out of which two are isothermal expansions and two are adiabatic compressions. So I am giving names one, two, three and four a cyclic process, a cyclic process which gives you two steps isothermal and two steps adiabatic and uh, let's go for it. Let's see how it, the, it works. So let's, I'm going back on this. In the first case, what I'll do, I'll bring this uh, uh, system in the contact with the hot reservoir. So the expansion of gas will take place. From here I'll move on the stand. Stand is non-insulator. No heat enters all the system. And still I want to do the expansion. So the internal energy will be used up. And that's why there's a drop in temperature. We will see in the next step. Finally from stand I move on to the sink. Once again I want to see the uh, compression. And finally I'll bring back to the stand. So uh, I want to be a little snappy, I want to hurry up and uh, the first step. So gas at temperature T1 absorb energy, isothermal process, delta equals to zero, 
So if you see Q1 equals to W1, RT1, V1 to V2. V1 was the initial pressure, V2 was the final pressure. From here I move to the stand. Stand is insulated. So delta Q is zero for this. But still expansion is going on at the cost of internal energy. That's why there is drop in temperature. And I can consider work done W in this way, which is given on this display. Then I want to bring back once again in contact with this sink. It's isothermal process. Expansion, <coughs> instead of expansion, I go for compression. And the process defines delta equals to zero. And I can have QD equals to now W3. Still, expansion is, sorry, compression is considered now. And in the final, I bring back to uh, understand and has no heat enters or leaves, I can have work done as W4. Next, we'll continue policy. Okay, I'll continue uh, in my next session from here onwards. Uh, thank you very much. Mitro, we have to do the time that we have to do the time. But we have to do the same thing that we have to do the same thing. We have to do the same thing that we have to do the same thing. We have to do the same thing that we have to do the same thing. We have to do the same thing that we have to do the same thing. We have to do the same thing that we have to do the same thing. We have to do the same thing that we have to do the same thing. We have to do the same thing that we have to do the same thing. We have to do the same thing that we have to do the same thing. कदाश तमने आतना लेक्चर में थी पर कोई डाउट सुपन थाया हुआ है तो यू कैन अलवेज वेलकम एंड यू कैन सेंड योर क्वेश्चन एंड योर डाउट्स एंड वी आर हैप्पी टू सॉल्व इट थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच